Hey everyone, in this quick video, I want to show you how simple it is to deploy the OWASP Juice Shop known vulnerable application out on Heroku. Uh, if you're interested in installing this on Docker or setting it up with Docker, check out my other video where I walk through how easy it is to set up a Docker container and use Heroku locally. In this episode, I want to walk through and show you how simple it is with a Heroku account, how to set up the Juice Shop so that way you have a vulnerable application, which is great for things like CTFs, capture the flags, or other just playing around and learning more about application security, applications that's available to you that you can play with without having to worry about getting into, into any potential legal troubles. So let's take a quick look here and see how we can go about setting this up using Heroku. Now the first thing I have going on here is this is the OWASP Juice Shop. This is the GitHub page for it. And it talks about how to set up on Heroku. And you can see over here that we can scroll down and there's a setup section for deploying to Heroku. And notice there's a little note down here at the bottom that says it's the quickest way to get up and running. And as long as you're not performing DDoS attacks, you're free to use any tools or scripts to hack your Juice Shop instance on Heroku. So that's kind of cool. We don't have to worry about it as long as we're not trying to DOS the system. We can actually use this to come in and play around and learn a little bit about how the juice shop works. Now, for us really to get up and going on this, the first thing we need to do, you'll see there's a button that says, click the button below and follow the instructions. Well, that sounds pretty easy, but it's, I found it a little confusing at first because I would click the button and nothing really happened. What I realized was you actually have to just go in and log into your account on Heroku. So I've already on this other tab logged into Heroku, into my account. You can see I already have a test instance set up, JSI-Juice. Um, so I have this account set up. So now that I'm logged in, I'm going to create a new instance with the Juice Shop. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come back to the GitHub page. Remember, we're logged in to Heroku. That's the first important step. The next thing is we're going to deploy to Heroku. So we're going to click the button to deploy to Heroku. Now this is going to take us back to our dashboard and it's going to start the creation of a new app. And notice that on here it states that we're going to deploy our own OWASP Jupe Shop. All right. An intentionally insecure JavaScript web application. So the first thing we need to do is we just need to set an app name. So we'll just say JSI Juice-2. And we're in the United States region, so we'll leave that and we'll just hit deploy app. Now this thing goes through and you can see down here at the bottom, it's starting to build the app up. It's running a bunch of scripts. Everything's gonna roll through here and it actually works pretty quickly, but it's going to pull everything down that it needs to do and then it's gonna install it all for us. And then once it's done installing everything for us, we'll be able to go out to that JSI-Juice-2 and run that instance and actually see that our Juice Shop is up and running. Now, those that have watched the Docker instance, you saw that was just a few steps as well, one of them being installing Docker. Now with this, we can actually see that it's just a few steps. One, it's having the account on Heroku already, and you can create free accounts on Heroku to come in and set up your account. So here we can see it's installing the node modules that are needed, so building the dependencies. And again, this isn't gonna take very long for each of these steps to run through. It's gonna go out, it's gonna grab everything. You gotta love some of these new pipelines that are out there uh, to be able to install this stuff very quickly and with a lot of ease. Because I know a lot of people out there, when you guys are getting ready to do this, you actually want it to be quick, you want it to be simple, you're less concerned about trying to set up that environment, and you want to get down to it. You want to start getting in the app, you want to start playing around with it, and start using it. And I'm with you 100% on that. I can't tell you how often I've struggled trying to get some types of environments properly set up and configured. So to see something as simple as this, where it's easy enough just to go in, click a button, set up. Now you do have to make sure that you pick a name. The app name up top has to be one that's available. So I couldn't have created another JSI Jazz Juice because that one was already used. But all I gotta do is pick an app name and then 
I'm ready to go. Pick a region and hit deploy app. So we can see everything is still, you can see the output scrolling through here as it walks through to get everything installed and working and ready to go. So again, Heroku app is, uh, not the Heroku app. <laughs> Heroku app is great because it allow us to, to deploy this very quickly. The Juice Shop app is a great app because it's got a bunch of vulnerabilities. It's more of a modern app. You know, it's one of those single page type apps. Um, so it's built on Node.js. It's got Angular as the front end, and it's got a lot of known vulnerabilities in it. So if you uh, are learning more about application security, you're a developer, you're a QA tester, you're a pen tester, whatever it may be, whatever you're trying to do, this is a great way to be able to come in and, and play around with some of these vulnerabilities like SQL injection and cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery and all these different things without having to worry about getting in trouble. Um, you know, because there are legal issues around going out and dealing with working with testing sites, if you will. Um, so this is a great way to do it. There's other applications out there that have been around for years uh, like DVWA is a good one out there. Uh, BWAP is another one that's out there that's available. And so there's a lot of them out there that you can use to do this. So here we can see that uh, we have deployed. Our app was successfully deployed. Uh, now we can come down here. We can click View, and it'll actually take us to our newly created application. It takes a minute for it to load. But as we can see here in just a moment, here we are, the URL came up. We can see the website uses cookies down here. Yeah, we're okay with that. And now we can see we've got the juice shop up and running in our own instance that we can now play around with. And you can go to the login screen, you can log in. All the different things are up and running. The system works as we would expect. And now we're ready to rock and roll. This is your opportunity to come in and learn more about some of the common vulnerabilities that exist out there. This is one of those things that after you go through training, if you're looking for training, we do training here at DevelopSec where we talk about and teach about web application security vulnerabilities. We talk about secure development and trying to get the development side of the house, the QA side of the house more involved and up to speed on some of these concerns uh, that we see out there to make sure that as we're developing applications, we are developing them in a secure way. So hopefully you don't come across these same type of vulnerabilities that we're going to see as we walk through the Heroku app. So if you have any questions, if you're interested in your development teams learning more about security training, feel free to reach out to us, james at developsec.com or just hit us up out at developsec.com for more information. And I hope this video helps you easily get set up with the Heroku app, uh, with the Juice Shop app, so that way you can get started kind of playing around and trying out some of these challenges. They have a lot of challenges in this app, and they're really fun to go in and try. So